burning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All right, folks, we're back with you, and I'm excited to know in. I mean, I know everybody here has followed Friday the 13th, but we actually have uh, Laura Park Lincoln with us that uh, has been on it and still on it right now with us. Good morning. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you so much. I mean, it's got to be the coolest thing to be in the horror film business. I mean, golly, do you love it or not? Well, you know, it's a lot of fun. I love horror movies. So getting the first one was was really fun to get and do and and play with. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, the Friday the 13th to me, uh, out of all the horror films, is the one that everybody, I mean, you know, even the kids in school, when it comes Halloween, they dress up like Friday, I mean, uh, you know, with a mask and all that stuff. Yes, they are. Although I think. I think uh, I think they're a little, some of them are a little too young to be watching the scary movies, but yes, it's a, it's a pretty well known franchise. Oh yeah, golly, it's got to be fun to have part of it. But now, one of the things that uh, I understand is coming or fixing to be released here pretty quick is pretty interested. Thirteenth uh, fa- uh, thirteen fanboy, tell me about this. This is right. pretty. This is a neat mm-hmm. twist on a horror film. It, it is. Um, our director uh, Deborah was uh, in uh, was also an actress, and she wrote this really interesting, dark little scripts about um, a, a stalker, a, a, a fanboy stalker, you know, a little emotionally off that goes after the actors in the film. So we play a, you know, a fictionalized version of ourselves. And, uh, and it was really, it was really fun and really interesting. I had had a severe stalker situation for many years. Right. And, you know, you get through it. I mean, obviously those people are challenged. And uh, it's not the everyday world. It's I know, I know. Shadow, mm-hmm. Right? And so uh, it was an interesting project for that reason. Well, this sounds like such a cool movie. I mean, you know, it's one of them kind of, you just sit at the edge of your seat waiting for what's going to happen next, you know, especially when it comes to talking. Yes, yes. And, and we did. I think she did a great job. I got to see some pieces of it, and I liked it. And Dee Wallace is, is our our lead, and, you know, can't, can't be having her in a show. She's awesome. Right. So. And when is this going to be released? That film opens in theaters on October 22nd in the States. It opens in London on November 7th. And um, and then, you know, as it, as it says theaters, it'll then go to streaming, I'm sure, because you know what everything does now. Yeah, everything goes to streaming. Now, is the trailer, is it up yeah. on YouTube yet? It is, yes. Well, I believe it is, yes. Yeah. Um, I I got a link to it, so I think that's probably... <laughs> That's probably the best place to find it. There you go. Yeah, golly. But now you, uh, you know, in the Friday, the Friday the Thirteenth series, uh, you have been in two two separate movies with that. I have been in uh, one, uh, the Friday the Seventeenth series. I did part seven, and right. I have Rose Blood coming out on uh, November 29th, which is the continuation of my character thirty years later. Oh wow. So, yeah, it was really very, very cool. So it takes place um, 30 years later, and we find out what, what may have happened to the heroine. I always like to, yeah, I always like to know what yeah. happened next to be continued. But how many how many series yeah. have we had on on Friday the 13th now so far? We've seven? I've, no, there, there were some after. Part seven took it into a different direction where my character wasn't afraid of the monster. She chased him. She was never attacked by him or killed or anything like that. Right. 
it took the series that way. And then they did some different versions for eight, nine, ten. I, I don't really know what followed that one, honestly. Wow. That's crazy, though. You know, a lot of the, you know, when you have films like this that, that continue, it's usually one, two, and three, unless it's Star Wars. You know, Star Wars keeps going. Sure. But, but sure. Uh, And I, I think that they, you know, they had always planned to do more, but the production companies, you know, New Line and Paramount, all the different companies ended up in a lot of, lawsuits with each other and writers and different things like that so it got stopped and that's where the fan films yeah. started picking up the storyline and really are doing some amazing jobs yeah well now you know, i told you i know that part of that was filmed here in georgia on one of the episodes uh, i say episodes but one of the movies was filmed down in georgia uh-huh. which is pretty interesting and that's one of the reasons they're really popular in this area and of course i think everything is you know when it comes to friday the 13th because everybody dreads to see friday the 13th come mm-hmm. But uh, man, this is a great series. Now, tell me about this Roseblood. What? Is, what is this? Is the continuation of your your person in the movie? Can you tell us a little bit about? Right, right. It's the continuation of Tina's story. Right. So um, we have an actress that uh, plays me in the year following uh, the ending of the film, right. and then we go forward to where I am now and where where I've been kept for these thirty years and what happens and. Uh, the the guys that did it have just done a phenomenal job. It's a full length feature, right. and they just did an amazing job. I know the fans are going to love it. We bring back um, Terry Kaiser, who played the mean Doctor Cruz, right. and he's very evil and fabulous. And we bring back my love interest, Kevin Spiritus. So, oh, you got to have um, that. Got to have that. Yeah, you got to have that. Mm-hmm. And so, it, I think it's just a super fun film. So it's about it takes place with a. I'm called the New Blood in Part Seven, mm-hmm. and this character has a young teen called Rose Blood, mm-hmm. and so I take her under my wing and and help her out with some of those magical powers. If I was telekinetic and psychic in that film. There you go. Now, folks, that's just tuning in. Laura Park Lincoln is who we're talking to, and uh, if you've seen the anything to do with Friday the Thirteenth, uh, you have watched her, and she's got a lot of new stuff coming out. But now you've got another movie that. Uh, that you, I mean, golly, how busy are you? Ghost Party? I mean, honestly. Yes, Ghost, Ghost Party, out of Road. Yes, it's been a phenomenal time uh, for me to be acting and just thrilled. Ghost Party, which will be out um, probably first quarter of next year, is a family fun haunted house right. where uh, um, most of us family members are ghosts. I'm a ghost from the early 1900s, and then we have a few living relatives still left, and we meet to have a family reunion. And it's just really cute and fun and for everyone and um, has a very Disney haunted house feeling to the set itself. Right. <laughs> well, now let me ask you something. You, of course, you was on Knott's Landing. And uh, that's a completely different from the horror stuff that you're in. What? What do right. you? I mean, you know, like to me, I'm not a, I'm not an actor. But if I was an actor, I'd want to be the bad guy. That just seems like that'd be the most fun. So, I mean, do you like the? Well, it is. You like the horror stuff. You think is? I mean, you like that better than than I guess what you call straight acting, where it's just a story where somebody's telling a story about something. You, but you like the horror horror side of it. Um. No, I don't, I don't think I, I love any side particularly more than the other. On, on that, North Landing, I played a, a very evil, manipulative character. Yeah, that's the best. So, yeah, she, you know, she was truly one of my, my favorite characters. I mm-hmm. played her for a good long while. And, and I really like television, too. I like the taste of television. So, um, you know, in, in horror films, um, I'd only done Friday 13th. I also did uh, the series with Freddy Krueger, which is a nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, I know all about but that. I, yeah, but I did the TV series version, which was kind of like uh, the Twilight Zone. Right. You know, it was, it was freaky and interesting, and those are my favorites. I, yeah, I'm with you. And I, I, of course, when it comes to horror, I, you know, I grew up when Freddy Krueger first came out, Nightmare on Elm Street, and back then it was just the scariest thing ever. And then, like I say, fr- Friday the 13th on top of all that, but it was just... Uh, terrifying. Yeah, yeah, it was very terrifying. <laughs> My wife to this day can't watch horror films. She just can't do it. I mean, it can't be done. So, <laughs> so let me ask something. You're in all this horror stuff. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? Well, I haven't had very many uh, very many introductions to ghosts. Right. You know, I think I've felt a few ghostly things. But um, right. 
certainly open to that that idea. Yeah, I don't know. You know, some people's like, I don't believe, and some people say, yeah, I believe in ghosts. But I'm right. like you. I don't know. I, you know, I've been I've been around some really freaky people that I'm thinking this possessed, but, you know, you never know. And, right. and you know, you're talking about stalkers, you know. I mean, a lot of people in the acting business has been stalked. Of course, I've got a lot of bill collectors, and I call them stalkers, so I guess it's kind they of the same thing. They are stalkers also. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that the actors that have, that have stalkers, like myself, when it happens, it's just because it's more known because it's more visible and talked about. But right. um, I've known so many women that have had maybe some overzealous boyfriends that have just kind of harassed over time. And when I'm talking about a stalker, I'm talking about someone that's just trying to get violent and trying to disrupt your life, oh, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. in your home and, and that kind of a situation. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, you know, when they see you on TV and they, they, they get infatuated with this kind of stuff and then sure. they're, they're a little bit unbalanced, but, uh, you know, I don't sure. know. This one that you got <laughs> they, coming out. They get to know your real life and they'd be like, oh, man, she's just, she's just a pretty normal gal. Oh, yeah, well, ain't none, I mean, that's <laughs> the thing, you know. This the this thirteenth fanboy. I can't wait to watch that. I mean, I'm excited. I like that yeah. kind of stuff. You know, I mean, it's just to me, it just kind of keeps your nerves shot all the way through the movie. Like, what's going to happen it, next? You know, you know, it's it's for fun, and you know, it's exciting and fun to watch, and, and they're fun to shoot, also. <laughs> well, now here's something else that's pretty interesting. You actually have an acting studio. Do you test? You teach I actors. Do. I do. It's Actors Audition Studios, right. and I'm, I'm based I'm based out of Texas. Although I have I have students everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I work with uh, I'm a career mentor coach, and I work with actors that have been in the industry a while, and we need to remarket their careers and change things up. Or new actors coming in um, that are going into it as a professional right. um, job as opposed to a hobbyist. So. Um, I really enjoy it. I wrote a book called Get Started, Not Scam. And it's, it's a huge passion of mine to help the creative person not get ripped off by a lot of the really fake scammers out there. They're and, out there. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, you. my gosh. And, you know, the story is always the same. It's, you know, we'll make you a star and you pay us this and talent's not required. And, you know, it's just the same story. But when people's hearts and they're just dreams are all involved. They can easily get scammed. Like in a lot of things, you can get scammed by in a car. You can get scammed with a lot of things. Well, but, you ain't telling you know, me dreams. I'm in the, I'm in the music business and there's all kinds of people out here that's going to oh. make you in the big time. Cause I got a cousin of a yeah. friend of a friend that's got a sister that married to this guy that knows this other guy. And I'm telling you, it's all it, done. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And then I'm like, well, you know, where are you, where are your actual materials? Where's your work? You know, who, who are you dealing with? So, that's a huge passion of mine in one side of the studio that, that I enjoy focusing on along with teaching the technical and, and on-camera audition work. Well, now, do you ever have anybody come into your studio and you're like, you know, you probably really need to go drive a truck? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> we won't call no names out or anything, but anyway, <laughs> what's their names? <laughs> right. I, I find that if they found me, since right. I don't advertise, you know, usually they're referred or they look me up and find, you know, my email or something or the studio name. If they find me and get to me in our consultation, I can usually tell where their level of skill and interest is. And they may need to start somewhere else before working with me or, you know, I can look at look at what they have and say, maybe I'm right and maybe someone else is right. right. You know. Well, it's good and, to and hopefully lead them. That's it's good to right. know, you know, because I mean, you know, I always I love watching American Idol up to the point where the good ones are actually picked because I loved watching the ones that's just terrible, you know. And it's like my mom said <laughs> I could sing, and <laughs> like, well, oh. no, your mom was telling you a lie because she loves you. Yeah, your mama told you that when she took her hearing aids out at night. There you go. Uh, you know, uh, but as you know, in music, it's a it is not a straight straight line it's a lot of up and down and sideways and forward and backwards and a lot <laughs> of hard work go. a lot of hard work people yeah. leave out but anyway we got to get to a break tell us uh tell all these folks that's listening uh how they can get up with you and maybe some of these might want to hook up with you and maybe take some acting classes and uh, keep up with what you're doing because you're a busy girl oh thank you that's kind um i'm on instagram under my name lark park lincoln and facebook there's a studio page on Facebook, Actors Audition Studios, and also uh, a fan page and my page. So I'm pretty easy to find. 
um, if they know IMDb, you right. know, which is our internet movie database, listed there, and I would love to chat with them, help them out. Well, I sure appreciate you taking a little time with us down here in the south. Yeah. Down here in the south, and you out there at Texas. Down here in the south. We love Texas, ain't no doubt. But anyway, Laura, I, I sure do appreciate your time. And like I said, we're going to have to get you. to a break. But uh, anyway, going to keep up with you, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get you back home after this uh, this uh, stalking movie comes out. Cause I'm gonna, Please do. I hope you love it. I'm going to give you my redneck review. Redneck review. All right. There you go. Sounds good. I'll take it. All right, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for spending a little time with us. And remember, you can tune in every morning at WJULradio.com at 8 a.m. Eastern. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, The Morning Dish.